What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. We are back with another the iOS update, iOS 17.3. A little bit bigger on this phone and around, you know, it's a full reinstall because I'm coming from the uh, beta 2 to the actual release candidate on this iPhone 11. But I um, wanted to point out that I was going to cover iPadOS, but I do not have that around right now. So yeah, I'd have to update the other iPhone to cover... Um, watch os 10.3 so if those updates are more interesting if there's different things then i'll cover them in separate videos uh throughout this week but if they're not if it's the same stuff that i cover in this one i'm not gonna waste y'all's time because y'all's time is as precious as mine so here we go we're gonna get started with the what's new i was saying in my live stream that i was not gonna include voiceover but for my blind and vision paired audience i'm not changing anything so we're just gonna continue using voiceover so we're just gonna get Right into it. Starting off with stolen device protection. Stop bullet. List. Stolen device protection increases security of iPhone and Apple ID by requiring face ID or touch ID with no passcode fallback to perform certain actions. So no, uh, when you enter your, uh, to change your passcode, if you use face ID, which, or touch ID, depending on the device, um, it would always fall back to the passcode. Now with uh, stolen device protection enabled, it will not do that. It will give you a, as it says in section two. Bullet, security delay requires face ID or touch ID, an hour wait, and then an additional successful biometric authentication before sensitive operations like changing device passcode or Apple ID password can be performed. List end. So um, it'll require, if, it's, if you do not have the correct uh, biometric face ID or touch ID, it will, pause it for an hour then you can try again and if it's successful then it will uh let you change sensitive info like password of your apple id or the passcode on the device lock screen bullet list star. all right lock screen new unity wallpaper honors black history and culture so new unity wallpaper to honor black history month and um black history culture Music. Bullet. List star. all right four. music I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. Collaborate on playlists allows you to invite friends to join your playlist and everyone can add, reorder, and remove songs. So collaborative playlists, you can add, reorder, uh, do all that fun jazz. You can invite them via QR code or a link through messages. Or uh, if you're nearby, I would airdrop the link or QR code, whichever you prefer. And um, it... it I was watching a video where someone was doing this demonstration. You can actually regenerate a link. So if you don't want to have that person have access to that playlist anymore, you could regenerate a link, um, which would make the past link expire. Bullet. Emoji reactions can be added to any track in a collaborative playlist. List end. Oh, emoji reactions can be added to any track in the collaborative playlist. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. This, up bullet. this update also includes the following improvements. All right, so this update includes the following improvements and bug fixes, so here we go. Bullet. Airplay hotel support lets you stream content directly to the TV in your room and select hotels. All right, so if you're traveling, um, it'll, certain LG TVs will have a QR code that you scan to do the airplay. Um, that's, that's where this is pointing at. So if your hotel room has the LG TV that has the um qr code then you can uh airplay to it if it don't then um uh, you had a look bullet apple care and warranty and setting shows your coverage for all devices signed in with your apple id okay i like that feature where now it doesn't just show like say when i want to look on this iphone say i want to look at an apple care plus coverage on on my macbook pro um i don't have to go to the macbook pro in the studio i can look at it from the phone that's actually really nice bullet okay detection optimizations all iPhone. so crash detection improvements on all iphone 14 and 15 models and then some features may not be available in all regions or on all devices visit apple's website for the latest security updates i'll leave a link to that in the description down below but um also check out the description all of the latest updates for all devices will be um put in the description for ios ipad os watch os tv os home pod os um, mac os and the whole nine yards and of course two weeks from now people will be testing vision os i won't be but let me know if you got one down below but that's basically what's new in ios 17.3 and um happy update day if there's anything new like i said for watch os or um all the other software including mac os then we'll go through it but otherwise i'm just gonna sit here and chill and enjoy this video editing and um uploading for y'all 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or have any video ideas, leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I will see you on a future video. Peace.